first time ever we've got a group of celebs that actually are single, yeah. which is always a good start. <laughs> always. Uh, they know, people now know the show. So if a celeb comes in and hasn't watched it, well then more for them. Because if you've got like previous shows to watch to see the format and how we, the dates and what we're going to throw you into. So we can really hit the ground running. And most importantly, they actually get on. It's the first group that actually really genuinely get on with each other. And all the other previous series we've always had beef between one or two you know, people and people out there right now that are struggling to get a boyfriend struggling to get a date what's the best advice for a woman in regards to men well if you're if you're trying online dating and it's not working for you get offline not rocket science there are hundreds of fabulous eligible bachelors out there waiting going where are all the great girls at and you're sitting at home swiping left or right no get your face on get your heels on grab a wing woman and go out and get yourself a date because all the men are out there <laughs> and what's your advice especially to someone like myself where the men just aren't treating them the right way Hashtag jog on. I mean, <laughs> listen, you should never treat somebody based on how much you like them. You should treat somebody based on how much effort they put into you. So if you don't, if, if he's not texting you back for three days and you think that's unacceptable, that's it. Write him off, jog him on. You deserve to be treated like an absolute queen. And if this guy, especially at the beginning of the relationship, isn't giving you what you need and isn't making you feel like an empowered queen from the core of your soul, then he ain't good enough for you. Get rid of him. You, like, you will never find Mr. Right being with Mr. Right now.